He almost got me. Aslam Alaika. All right, so it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna go chase some squirrels. Got my Marlin 60 here, my handy dandy. We're gonna see if we can spook some up. I think Greg's gonna meet me down there a little bit later. I'm just gonna go down there and sit with my little squirrel call and see what happens. I tell you what, nothing brings you back to your childhood than going out and looking for some little gray squirrels. They're feisty, they're rowdy, they're loud, and they're a lot of fun. I tell you, I used to be entertained like all day with just my little 410 shotgun, pocket full of shells, and a little squirrel call. So today we're going down here on a little management area here in Florida by my house, and I'm gonna show you my setup on shooting squirrels and how I do it, my 22 rifle, squirrel calls, and how I kind of sort my gear because squirrel hunting is made to be fun, entertaining, not a lot of gear, and a whole lot of fun. All right, so we just got out here, right here on the management area, really kind of, had a hard time finding some good acorn trees and some good hard trees and hardwoods and stuff, but we're gonna try to make a run of this. So here's my Marlin 60, uh, 14 rounds I think it holds. Check it out. It's got a little Walmart 3x9 Simmons, 3x9x32. By by got this thing when I was a kid. I'll tell you, 22 rifles, puts a little sport into it. You can reach out a little further and uh, really kind of test your sportsmanship skills. Anybody can shoot them with a shotgun. Do it with a 22 and you're a hunter. Here's how I carry my ammo right here in a little medicine case, just a little pill bottle. Put like almost a box of shells in a little pill bottle. You can get bigger pill bottles. This is just the one I had and I put cotton balls in it. I put cotton balls in the top right here. Keep them from rattling around. That's key because you don't want them to do that noise in your pocket, so. I need a handful, got like probably 10 here. Take my pill bottle, so I got a, got a cotton ball in the bottom, put a cotton ball on the top. Don't make as much noise, and I put them right here. Good, so I'm packing my bag here. Got me some water, extra power for my, my phone, and of course the GoPro you're looking at right now. And I carry this around with me. If it's an issue, I can always sit it down somewhere, but squirrels don't really care that much about it. Also keep the clinking down in my canteen, which I should have filled all the way because I can hear it sloshing. Though you've been in the military, you always know fill your canteen all the way up. All right, so here's my Model 60. All right, basically, it's just a, I think it holds like 14 rounds. I think the old ones held a little more, but it's a tubular, tubular magazine. So that means you got to put them in through here. So check, make sure it's not uh, not loaded. Action's open, and go ahead and start loading. I'm using these little, they're the gold tip Remington bullets. I'm not a real fan of them, but they were cheap, and I got a box of them. Got a whole brick for like 20 bucks at Academy back when you couldn't find 22 ammo. So using what I can. But anyway, it's this thing. I mean, it's like besides the 1022, the Marlin 60 is a really high rated really accurate 22 rifle and they hold a lot of ammo. The only thing about it, this tubular magazine, instead of being able to just detach a magazine like on your 1022 and unload it and put it in a car, this one you got to dump upside down to get all the ammo out. But I'm not really worried about it. It holds enough ammo and it's pretty reliable. So until this one explodes, I'm going to keep using this one or I drop it out of my kayak one or the other because, you know, that happens. And my rod and reels are more expensive than this 22 rifle. Hope it don't happen, but it might. So I'm headed down to these all hardwoods over here. There's like in the middle of us. It's like a pine grove. And I'm gonna do some calling and see if I can get some answers. The wind's starting to kick up. I thought it was gonna end. I thought it wasn't gonna kick up. We're at location number two. One squirrel in the bag. Greg missed one. <laughs> Almost got enough for a stew. Marlin strikes again. Perfect shot. Some things were like ninjas today. And a lot of the shots I didn't want to shoot back towards the road. So 
had to be selective. I'm probably gonna go again tomorrow and the next day get a couple more and I'll have enough for at least a one mil. Um, it's not quite dark, but it was a little too dark to, to see them in that bottom down there. But still a lot of fun. Been all day. Finally found a good patch of woods about an hour before dark and that's where I got that one. So nowhere to go tomorrow cold front coming in so they're gonna be moving all right so before closing out this vlog so I wound up with two squirrels yesterday and it wasn't quite enough for a stew you need about three or four to make a good dinner a stew or a, just squirrel with rice and gravy but I wanted to show you like how exactly um, I've been doing it squirrel calling is important because not only can sometimes they come to you but it'll make them give up their position in the woods and you can see them and stalk them so here's what I was doing check this out check this out all right so first thing you need is a squirrel call okay I got this one when I was a kid my old dog chewed it up but it's still working strong Dixie chewed it up May she rest in peace, my old hunting dog. She passed away while I was in the army. It was kind of a sad moment. But back to the topic at hand. A good squirrel call right here is a good way to give them, give them the, give up their position when they start barking back at you. And sometimes they'll come to you. It depends on how good you are with this thing, how you can chatter, and how you can, you know, whine and all the, the good stuff it can do. I think I'm going to wind up getting another one, maybe the Primo Squirrel Buster. Not sure. So if you got anything to add about squirrel calls and what kind I should get, comment down below and let me know what kind of squirrel call I should get. Now, I know some of you guys out there probably know this one, but it was new to me until a while back. And an old timer showed me how to do this. So what you want to do is take a quarter and you put it in your hand like this. All right. And you take, you can use a penny or you can use another quarter or you can use, this is a little easier, this is kind of added to my arsenal. And you take it and you just tap it. And then while you're tapping, you can adjust the sound with this hand. So you're just tapping. And it sounds like a squirrel trying to eat a walnut or, or a nut or some type of hard nut that they're trying to crack open with their teeth. And so what you do is you just find you a nice cozy little spot in the woods, sit down and you start tapping on your quarters or 50 cent pieces. And this works. This works. Greg was, was amused with this. You'll see their heads stick out somewhere or they'll start moving. Like I see one right there moving. And they'll want to come out and see who in their area is eating their acorns or their walnuts. I think I'm going to get me one of those squirrel whistles too. The ones that makes it sound like they're panicking and hurting. Also another good one. Need that. So I need to add to my collection. If you got any squirrel tips, put them down below because I want to know more about squirrel hunting because there's plenty of land to do it with a lot of these management areas. And not too many people do small game hunting. They all want to deer hunt. So I've gotten more into the small game because it's getting too populated around here for deer. Squirrel hunting is just a fun sport. You can take your kids along. They can have fun. They can giggle and not be so have to be so quiet and serious. It teaches them marksmanship and sportsmanship. And it can be done with the simplest of gear. Some old 22 bolt action, some old break open 410 like my, how I started. It can be done cheap with cheap gear and you can have a ton of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.